Welcome to the Work Done Right podcast, where we talk with industry professionals to discuss best practices in construction, manufacturing, and maintenance. I am your host, Wes Edmiston, Director of Product with Cumulus Digital Systems and 15-year construction industry veteran. Today, we have a very special edition of the Work Done Right podcast. I'm excited to share with you all the official release of the Work Done Right book. This book is the culmination of so many of the lessons that industry leaders have shared with you and me on this podcast, and it really is a must read for anyone who works in construction or maintenance. The book was written by Cumulus CEO, Matt Kleiman, and as a special treat, I have asked him to come on to the podcast today and read a chapter from the book. So without further ado, here is Matt reading a chapter from the Work Done Right book entitled Engaging Project Stakeholders from Innovation Pilot to Scaled Solution. The book is available on Amazon or Barnes & Noble, and we'll provide a link to it in today's episode description. I hope you all enjoy. Today, I'm excited to read from you, for you an excerpt from my new book, Work Done Right, Using Systems Thinking to Guide Your Digital Transformation. Chapter 6, Engaging Project Stakeholders from Innovation Pilot to Scaled Solution. When digital transformation is done right, it's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. But when done wrong, all you have is an expensive caterpillar. George Westerman, MIT Senior Lecturer. You have now identified a promising solution you hope will improve work quality at your company. And you've conducted an extensive analysis for its potential to return to prove that this solution makes sense. It's now finally time to put your foot on the accelerator and commission a pilot to test your hypothesis right? Hold your horses, Tonto. Before you jump into a pilot, let's make sure you're set up your pilot for success. At some point in the evolution of industrial digitalization, innovation pilots became synonymous with success. The company conducts a proof of concept, releases an exciting video of the technology in action, and pats itself on the back for a job well done. The digitalization team has a celebratory dinner, then quietly departs, leaving the technology in a storage locker to collect dust. I've seen this very phenomenon occur many times. I call it pilot purgatory, and it's a genuine problem for the industry. The good news is that if you follow the recommended steps so far, pilot purgatory is relatively easy to avoid. The key is engaging the right project stakeholders from the beginning who will help you scale the technology from the POC to fully deployed. When engaging these stakeholders, you might be told, don't come to me with a problem, come to me with a solution. With your system study and financial return analysis in hand, you've already have both. You've defined your key success metrics and you can quantify the cost of doing nothing convincingly. This will help you gain credibility and help them help you. Your job is to provide enough information to make stakeholders want to solve the problem you're addressing. Another important factor is to assume success from the very beginning. In your plans, define what a successful pilot looks like and outline the next steps for how to deploy the solution at scale. While I can't tell you the specifics about what a scale deployment might look like for your company, I'm certain the systems analysis you've already compiled will be a powerful source of information. Identifying your primary stakeholders. As previously discussed, identifying the right stakeholders is critical. I commonly work with companies that assume IT will be the primary stakeholder for any digitalization solution. This is a mistake. While IT must be involved in compatibility, integration, and security planning, they're typically not the primary stakeholder because they're not the team with the most to gain from a successful implementation. This pilot is just one of many technologies the company asks them to look after. For those reasons, they won't serve as the most effective advocates to help the pilot and subsequent deployment across the finish line. Set yourself up for success by recruiting or appointing an end user as a primary champion. Ask yourself, which person or team is feeling the pain point you're solving the most? Who is the most senior person experiencing that pain? That's who should be the champion in chief since they'll be intimately familiar with the intricacies of the problem and will have a personal interest in implementing a meaningful solution. Regardless of who you select as the primary stakeholder, it must be someone with a high level of buy-in. Arm this person with the information they need to quantify the hidden costs and the potential benefits for their team. Innovation and digitalization leaders as a resource. 
In many larger organizations, one person or group has been tasked with the digitalization or innovation. While I'm the first person to advocate for this role as a powerful tool in moving the industry forward, I offer a word of caution. An individual in the innovation role is not the person feeling the most pain from the problem. Instead of appointing an innovation professional as a primary stakeholder, consider them a valuable resource. They can serve as a subject matter expert in understanding new technologies and assist the primary champion with many tasks throughout the process. This includes getting funding and working with functional support such as procurement and IT. End users as advocates. Any innovation will ultimately need to be used and be usable by people on a day-to-day -day basis. You should loop these end users in from day one as they're critical stakeholders. After all, they're the ones who will use the new solution. Their opinion matters. Many technology deployments do not succeed because end users fail to adopt the systems as the promoters anticipated. This isn't the end user's fault. It's the responsibility of the technology advocates to ensure they consider the end user's needs and experiences throughout the process. People are a key part of any system and we must consider them from the beginning. In fact, people are such a critical part of your system that I've dedicated the next chapter almost entirely to overcoming the challenges associated with managing your workforce. I'll give you the tools you need to effectively turn end users from obstacles into advocates. I hope you enjoyed that reading from Matt Kleiman from a chapter in his new Work Done Right book entitled Engaging Project Stakeholders from Innovation Pilot to Scaled Solution. Once again, if you'd like to purchase the book, you can do so by following the link in this episode's description. I hope you've enjoyed listening to this episode of the Work Done Right podcast. Please help us out by subscribing and leaving us a review. And as always, our show notes are linked in this episode's description. Thank you for listening and see you next time.